Hello everyone, welcome. And today I'll demonstrate a circuit that was built out of frustration, mainly, that I couldn't find a circuit that would run the lights I had. And if you haven't worked out, uh, I'm, all, I'm Australian. And this means the lights that I need to run are 240 volts. And from what I've seen on YouTube, most of these Jewel Thief style lighting systems were built on the requirement of operating 120 volt lights. So this circuit was developed after a small tantrum because I couldn't find the right circuit. Uh, I nicknamed the board my what if I do this board uh, as I learned what it was capable of literally connecting things based on the guidance of what if I do this. It probably doesn't need to be said that I blew up a lot of transistors um, one great thing about the circuit though is uh, it only has one part that can blow up um, unless you're being completely foolish so I know straight away some of you might be thinking why can't I just use normal electricity in my house well I do However, this circuit was designed years ago when I lived off grid. As this was many years ago, lighting options were always underpowered and overpriced and frankly, a small amount of light that they produce was coupled with a short run time for anything that was off grid lighting. So why is this useful? Now, when LED technology has advanced quite well, there are a few reasons. Um, causes aside, a large part of the world is experiencing an energy crisis. Uh, there have been reports of fuel shortages of all kinds. So this becomes a very handy light source for about five hours on this small battery um, it's just a 12 volt 7 amp hour well, actually that one's a 12 volt 9 amp hour but that gets you around about 5 6 hours it, it'll run longer than that it'll run right down to um, about 6 volts and under but that'll usually do damage to the battery depending on the battery you have naturally if you have a larger battery it'll run longer now, one of the circuits best features I believe is similar if not the same as Tesla's system that passes intelligent signal through the earth so far I've tested this circuit with over 130 meters approximately and if Tesla is correct this would allow transmission for a long distance possibly the circumference of the earth and those were his statements not the claims that I'm making I also believe he detected signals traveling uh, the full circumference of the earth in under one second. This would be truly amazing if you think about the speed of travel um, that an electrical signal would have to make that full circumference. Uh, it's quite astonishing if it's, if it's a valid... Um, a valid uh, theory. He also stated that the Earth was a better conductor of electricity than any conductor that could be made by man. Um, another feature of the circuit is uh, Tesla's single wire transmission, which allows long-distance power transmission for 
half the cost of copper. The only one why it means longer transmission, double for the same cost, pretty much. AC transmission over long distance has always resulted in large losses of power though. Um, the further you go, the lower the voltage, which overheats most conductors, resulting in further reductions in efficiency. And this circuit seems to overcome that as the same current is drawn whether using through earth transmission or not. And the circuit also produces strong dielectric fields which lends to wireless charging of capacitors using um, you know, arrangements like, like this um, Avramenko plug here which I believe is pretty much a half bridge rectifier um, I know there's some of you asking, where's the schematic? For those of you capable of building this from the schematic alone, I will have that at the end. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can obviously skip forward. If you know all about the concepts of the technology, you probably don't need to hear it from me. Um, I've watched so many videos that I had to go full detective on and recreate the circuits from still photos. There's nothing more annoying than a video showing you how awesome a circuit is and that you probably couldn't reproduce the circuit without watching the video 20 times over. My circuit, whilst looking complicated on this board, is very easy to build when you know what goes where. I made um, made this smaller unit, which is on a 3D printing plastic reel. Uh, in essence, it's the same specifications. I've just got a heat sink hanging there. It runs 240 volt. About 10 watt lights seem to be maximum, so. Um, but I'll put up a schematic for going off of one of these uh, cable junctions here. Um, it just makes it very easy when, when you can have it all wired up into one of those, and you just have to copy it. So I, I will also get that up on the site and perhaps um, perhaps winding the coil video of winding the coil as well um, Tesla took most of his knowledge to his grave to prevent this happening again I'm demonstrating the circuit in the hope a heap of people will copy and experiment. I believe there are more features to the circuit yet to be discovered. I just have not had time. Um, I believe this will occur faster if there are more people working on this project. I don't want to sound egotistical as though I guarantee that I've worked out uh, what Tesla was trying to achieve, but from everything I've read, this seems to be what he was suggesting. Um, and uh, and admittedly, some of you know his uh, circuits may have been at a much higher power level, um, but I believe in doing most of my experiments at that lower power level uh, it's less risky for me um, and most of the concepts can be proved at a lower power level so uh, if anyone's brave enough they can scale this up and 
take it from there. Um, encourage you to build one. Please like the video, subscribe as we are all aware. That's the only way to get this out there. We really need to send this out to as many people as we can. Even send it to people that may not be interested. This way if a worst case scenario eventuates and we have already reached maximum exposure, the knowledge is less likely to go missing again. Um, coil design could not really be much easier. Um, we've got uh, a uh, bifile, a wind, which is just two of these cables, the thickness of two of these cables side by side. Um, in essence, that's nine turns of the bifile of wind uh, which it's looped back so power is applied to one side of that from here from the battery power comes in through the bifile of wind goes around nine times is looped back and goes again another nine times um, there's only that primary by far the winding and then uh, 180 turns for a secondary um, of, of just of this single single wire which was um, the two stranded wire but I just split it ripped it in half um, it seemed to be I, I did it carefully so it, it seemed to work all right and didn't rip off any insulation along the way if you build one of these you may think you've made some mistakes uh, when you try to light it up um, if the light doesn't turn on it's it's because of a frequency or because of resonance um, there's so many times where Tesla mentioned the secrets to all of his work was based around frequency um, resonance is, is such a critical thing each one of these light bulbs seems to have its own frequency based on the materials that are in the ferrite core that's used as a transformer from usually from two 240 volts in this case down to 12 for the LED circuit um, each bulb will vary if it's the same brand it'll be pretty close to the one uh, to the other one of the same brand however if they're different manufacturers you will need to adjust uh, you, you will need to adjust that frequency which is very easily done um, so obviously this light here that lights running off of the low voltage side of the coil and across the emitter um, so basically to the negative of the battery and that's a 240 volt light with um, uh, sorry a 9 watt power draw I believe um, whereas you know if if you were to try and operate this light uh, you, you might be shocked thinking that you don't actually have a working circuit you might be fooled into believing that's the case um, with this style of, of circuit, as I said, frequency is, is everything. So if we were to connect that up there, and then you would see, I mean, if you built this, you would be frustrated thinking, I did something wrong, it's not working, the light's not coming on. Um, 
and this is just a ferrite rod um, nothing special there you, you can pick those up and each one's going to be different based on the composition uh, of, of its build um, what it was designed for what frequencies it was designed to resonate at but most of these lights as you see can um, can be operated as long as you get a frequency correct so the further I place that inside that coil the brighter that will get um, so yeah if you get if you find you've put it all together it's not working it'll be because of the frequency of the light is not being matched by the coil and by sliding a ferrite component in, inside the coil uh, and until you get the desired um, light output that you're trying to obtain Tesla always spoke of his discoveries as um, easy to achieve um, it, it's not to discredit the guy or his, his work. Um, in fact, I think he was trying to say how, just how easy it was and that we should all be taking advantage of how simple it was. I honestly believe, and we're not going into it, but, um, you know, it was other forces, in my opinion, that made it seem out of reach to the common folk uh, difficult and only achievable by greater minds for example and Tessa had much higher regard for people that performed fruitless experiments than the greatest minds of his time that did little but theorize ironic that a lot of people or a lot of those so-called um, amazing theories are now being you know debunked um, you know as as we sort of reinvestigate science and physics um, you know what we were clearly what we were told not necessarily accurate is probably the best definition um, you know, when you consider that this is a hundred years old now, uh, this this concept, this design concept, um, sure, we're using newer high-tech components. You know, the only, only destroyable component in this circuit is the 2N3055 transistor. It's mounted on a heat sink. I don't recommend touching this and whilst it may seem like it's only um, you know 12 volts there is high voltage running through this circuit um, enough so that uh, if we turn this light off we should be able to see that we can Usually there's a, a high enough voltage there to obtain AC directly off of the off of the battery terminals themselves. Mm. It's it's interesting to know you know if I if I disconnect this uh, earth here, we get a very diminished field, and this is just um, a 240 volt electric cord I've twisted all three wires together so if we connect that through the earth you can see 